All right, let's get right to it. The massive gemming from the new Clash of Clans update. You know you guys want to see it, and I am going to bring it to you, starting with my very first level 12 wall. So there you go. That is a level 12 wall. Looks suspiciously like a level 3 wall, but all right. So we're going to need a few more gems. So through the magic of television or YouTube, there we go. All right. Grabbed about 100,000 gems. So we've got 100k gems to spend on this new update. Let's see how far it takes us. Of course, first things first, we've got to get to those wizard towers. Now, maybe you say heroes first, but really, if you're just going to gem one thing, the heroes are probably the best thing to do, simply because of the fact that they work on offense and defense. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the wizard towers here first, and then move on to the heroes but again, in order of importance, uh, heroes first, maybe even go for the units that you use the most second, like is it hog riders, is it the golems, upgrade those guys next, the wizards, and then the wizard towers on defense. Although it is a pretty significant jump in hit points, uh, I really feel like it could make a bit of a difference. They're obviously trying to buff defense and make sure that things don't get completely overrun, but You'll see by the end of this video that maybe things are getting overrun right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade the Archer Queen to level 45. Now you can see she's only 999 gems to skip that seven days only. All right, so there's level 42. Gonna buy that elixir. There goes level 43. And we're already down to about 60,000 gems under 60k. And we will finally have ourselves a maxed out level 45 Archer Queen. Okay, so about half of our gems are gone already. Off to the Barb King and the new uh, graphic there. Love the new graphics, love the new looks of all of the units, but we're not going to waste any time. The Barbarian King is going to be upgraded rather quickly here. Uh, we're running low on gems. Looks like we might run out, actually, but I will tell you guys this. I'm not going to gem all the walls. Gala Farmer, is it possible? Is it true? Yes, I will farm some walls. Well, as we push up in trophies, I'll be farming walls. But in the meantime, okay, let's just do the middle core. I mean, I think that'll look cool. Uh, if we just grab the middle core of these walls for now, got to get in there and uh, get some more gold. There we go. And there's massive gold, 10 million gold. And of course, you can do it with gold or elixir. So let's fill them both up. That's enough for, uh, what, four, five walls, sort of. Okay, so on our way around the ring here, a little bit more. And we will keep going as long as we need to. Uh, hold on. Okay, a little more gold. There we go. And let's move over here. A little more elixir. And let's do this again. On our way. So again, you guys, I'm just going to do this ring. And then I figure I should naturally pick up quite a bit of gold uh, on my way up. Just on the quest to 5,000 trophies once again. But we'll do this just for aesthetic purposes more than anything else. I'm not a big fan of the new walls, especially because I feel like they're not going to be that effective. Uh, but, you know, again, if you guys saw all my wall videos, I always wanted this limited number of walls to do something special. And they don't. So I'm a little bit bummed out at that. Uh, if they could, you know, protect against air units, against miners, against bowlers, against hog riders. I thought that would be really cool. But... Just didn't happen. Now we are going to move over to the treasury. Collecting money from the treasury should just about give us enough to finish these walls. All right, so there we go. Well, there's just that one last wall there. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna outright buy the gold. Okay, there it is. Now that's it. No more buying walls with gems. We are going to buy walls by farming, and uh, that's because that's me. I'm Gala Farmer, right? Okay, so we got the walls. We've got the wizard towers. We've got the heroes. Uh, it is time to uh, check out the golem. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the golem. You can see here, of course, dragons, baby dragons, wizards not maxed, but we're not going to worry about those right now. Just going to focus on the units that we use. Same with a hog rider, same with a poison spell. Uh, just going to skip over most of that stuff. And, okay, we needed some more gems. So we are going to go back and uh, grab some more gems. Now, once you've made a bunch of gem purchases in the game, from time to time, it doesn't ask you for your permission, your password again. It just kind of throws them on you, figures, well, you need a lot of gems. So there we go, another 14K. And the total spend in this video, just about 110. 
thousand gems. So we'll pick up the elixir for the golem and we'll finish him off for, gosh, almost another 2,000 just to skip his time. And again, that's going to do it. I'm not going to bother with the rest of the units right now because I don't really use them. But we will not forget to gem up our brand new level 7 clan castle. So uh, there it is. The level 6 CC needs to get upgraded. Only a meager 10 million in gold. And uh, there we go. So the level 7 clan castle. And through the magic of YouTube, we've got a bowler army. We're on our way out. We're searching. And uh, even at 4,700 trophies, still seeing a bit of the clouds. But we've got a base. And it was a big offer. 34 trophies right here. And uh, unfortunately, bringing the old bowlers hadn't really taken a look at what's new and different. This base, a tough one. You can see that core pretty well protected. Lots of lines of walls, and we're going to do our best to funnel. So we start out over here towards the bottom, and we're going to start out with six bowlers on either side, and then the three healers, and that's going to help the bowlers funnel. Now, they can't really do a second layer of funneling, so I drop the giants from the clan castle. There you can see as they work their way out the outside of the base, we've got the wall breakers down getting through that outer wall. We've got one jump spell that could hopefully lead us into the core, but with pretty much everybody going down at this point, you know that it's not that likely, unless maybe the CC troops drew us in, and it looks like that just might happen. The freeze spell goes down, misses the Eagle Artillery. We are into the core right there. The CC troops all over the place. The Eagle Artillery goes down. Looks like that Town Hall could be in big trouble. There is the shield passing 30% damage. Town Hall just about. Town Hall. Come on, bowlers, no! Bowlers went every which way. I end up using my rage spells on the outside and uh, it just barely missed grabbing that Town Hall right there. 43% damage and uh, suddenly not looking like such a hot attack. It really looked like we were going to force our way into the core, but the Archer Queen did not follow the bowlers in there. We use the last rage spell. There is the one star attack. And uh, no, just not going to do it. The healers desperately trying to heal a couple of bowlers over there in the bottom right. But just no chance that we're ever going to see the core again. The healer and the Grand Warden and, of course, the Archer Queen with her ability. Just not going to go anywhere near the center of this base. So we let the attack run out. And our first attack post-update with the level 45 heroes, I got to admit... It's a little bit tough. I can't really see the difference between 40s and 45s, but maybe, just maybe, there will be a difference in the future when you get down to those last second rates where you really need one or two more shots from your hero, and 45 will make the difference from 40. I don't know. So there is the last bowler trying to get healed up. We're not going to bother with that. End the attack. 66% 11 trophies. But now we will move on and check out a couple more attacks with pretty much the current meta of the game. Now, we don't have the sound for these attacks, so we'll have to throw in some dramatic, more typical music, but I'm telling you right now, I'm moving away from that music during the videos and more towards gameplay sound. All right, so this is really the new meta. This is the OP attack strategy at Town Hall 11 right now, Lava Lunion. So I'm using three Lava Hounds, the rest are Balloons and Minions, about two dozen of each. And the Rage and the Free Spells, I think I may settle on two Freeze and four Rage Spells because, of course, we have that additional spell now in the new upgraded Clan Castle. As you can see, well, things are not working out real well on defense right now. It's just going to be a matter of time before pretty much everybody is using this attack at Town Hall 11. It is a pretty solid attack strategy pretty tough to lose it really comes down to just a little bit of spell timing and placement watching the pathing of the balloons and of the minions using the rage spell where appropriate as you can see this attack did not last very long just about to wrap things up we didn't even need the last poison spell didn't need the archer queen's ability we did swag that poison spell off screen somewhere and there it is 20 trophies three stars and another base we are at Titan 1 right now, closing in on 5,000 trophies. Drop it in the Lava Hounds. It doesn't even really matter where the air defenses are. The Lava Hounds going after them. In come the balloons. In come the minions after them. It's that first attack from the balloons being so much faster, really making these attacks super, super powerful. There goes the freeze spell. 
only on a single target inferno maybe not the best free spell in the world would have been better used on that multi but as you can see the balloons just overrunning things there's the second free spell the first inferno tower goes down the balloons on the second inferno tower the minions cleaning up taking down the town hall once again we are grabbing two stars time and time again without even needing to use the heroes you guys there it is 52 percent two stars we used haste spells this time but i will be switching to just more rage less haste dropping the level 45 heroes at the bottom of your screen and letting them do the rest now you can see a lot of people also still have their expos set to ground only i would anticipate that's going to change very very quickly at especially up here in titan one at town hall 11 as people see their bases just being overrun by air attacks also Dragon attacks are going to be super strong as well, obviously, with a new change in the dragon attack. Speed, but not DPS. Same with the balloons, but as you can see here, man, these balloons were just super strong in this attack. We're closing in on 90% damage once again. Haven't needed the queen's ability. Once again, we swagged the poison spell on the CC. No offense, just had to throw it in there somewhere because it hashtag feels good, man. Okay, so this attack just about to wrap up another three-star win for the good guys you guys it is feeling great using air attacks one more time as i push my way towards 5,000 trophies so hey at least this way it's going to be easy enough to get those trophies headed towards 5k and maybe just maybe we can focus on some three-star clan war attacks in the future watch for those in future episodes going to be visiting hopefully the dark looters and reddit omega as well from that live stream that i did with godson that was so much fun in the meantime you guys thank you so much as always for supporting this channel for sticking around watching the ends of the videos hitting that thumbs up button commenting liking and sharing with your friends it all helps and remember yesterday is history tomorrow a mystery today is a gift that's why they call it the present see you guys later full attack videos anymore. Peter, you're speaking right right now. Well, I mean, you, you know what I mean. Golly, Dawn. Make your own videos, Peter.